Hey guys, it's Jonas here again for an exciting and another installment of our prostate massage video series. Uh, today we're going to focus primarily on talking about uh, the two methods to massage your prostates, uh, the manual method or using a prostate massager. Uh, if you've been watching our previous videos, uh, last videos we covered uh, the five most common questions men ask about prostate massage. Previously to that, we talked about what happens when you properly massage milk or stimulate your prostate. And the intro video, we talked about what your prostate is, where is it. So I highly suggest uh, you go back and watch those videos as well. There'll be more videos coming in this video series after this one as well. So back to our topic at hand. Uh, two main methods for massaging or milking the prostate. One is the manual method, which involves your finger. Uh, typically, for most men, it's going to be your index finger. That's generally what works best. The other option is to use a device called a prostate massager that is specifically designed for massaging or stimulating the prostate. Uh, one of the most popular brands is the Aneros brand of prostate massagers, and if that's the route you want to go, I'd recommend that. Um, some of the advantages of the manual finger method is um, for a lot of men, it uh, there's a, a dramatic amount of uh, psychological hold back to using the prostate massager. Uh, generally, they're much bigger in size. Uh, they don't have to be, but generally they are. And there's some special techniques into using that. Um, and so that can complicate things as well. Uh, the advantage of using the manual method, uh, it does work well for most men. Uh, certainly there's his own techniques to, to use that, but uh, you can use it anywhere you want. Once you've learned it, you can do it anytime you want. There's no cost involved in it. Certainly a good prostate massager, you're looking at uh, at, le at least at least a $50 range. You can spend up to hundreds of dollars on prostate massagers. And uh, the other disadvantage with prostate massagers is that you might try one, but that one might not work for you at all well. So then you have to keep experimenting, experimenting, and spending money. And that can be very frustrating for a lot of men. So certainly in the beginning, I would recommend using the manual method, the finger method, uh, which is most common. That's the same method that you would experience if you went to a doctor um, to have it professionally done or you visited a prostate massage therapist. Um, and so that would be certainly the way I would suggest for uh, the beginning. Down the road, you could expand uh, expand your prostate massage experience with something like an anaerobes model. Uh, but in the beginning, I would certainly recommend sticking with the manual method. Uh, just a few more pointers about that manual method. For most men, uh, to reach your prostate, you'll probably be about your second knuckle or so. Um, depending on your size and your weight, that could vary. Um, but you don't generally need to go a lot farther than that. Um, generally, you're going to be using your index finger. Uh, two fingers, two fingers, that's a, generally a no-no. One finger is all you need. Uh, you're not trying to go like this. You're trying to go like this. So two fingers, that's a no-no. One finger, good. Two fingers, bad. Uh, you got to remember what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying to massage or stimulate the prostate, and that's it. No other form of, uh, of penetration are we trying to do. So that's what we need to do. So I hope uh, this video gave you some insight of, of uh, maybe how you want to proceed with prostate massage. Uh, you can learn all the techniques that we teach with the manual method at our website right now that we have some sales and discounts on our prostate massage videos and books at www.prostatemassage.com. Uh, that's where you want to learn about the finger method. We also do have some information uh, about the prostate massages if you want to use that as well. Uh, you can also visit uh, my new website, prostatemassagestories.com. 
You can uh, read about men that tried prostate massage and their experiences doing that. And if you have a question or want to leave a comment, make sure you do so below the video. Uh, you'll also notice there'll be some links in the description area you can click to visit our website. So hope you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful. Uh, we'll have some upcoming videos uh, coming up shortly here. We'll talk about some more tips about prostate massage, some of the common problems and dangers that you really need to know about. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos, check those out. Uh, once again, it's Jonas Sterling. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.